Yo, what is up YouTube? Welcome back to another recruiting news for dummies video and today we're going to be talking about a couple commitments over the last couple of days that have happened around the nation. Now let's get into it. Now the first recruit we're going to be talking about is five star defense on line Aiden Breland and he just committed to play football for Oregon. He is a pass rushing defense lineman with great mobility given his size and the offseason leading up to his senior year he was listed at roughly six foot four and a half and 320 pounds with arms exceeding 33 inches he has adequate length for the position. Has a naturally huge frame and spent most of his high school career weighing between 280 and 320 pounds. For SoCal Powerhouse Modern Day, he typically lines up as a defensive end. Moves like he is a much smaller player. With his quickness to power, he pushes the pocket very fast. On contact, he bowls off into tackles into the backfield. Has the power to stack and shed linemen in order to create plays against the run. With his outstanding pursuit athleticism, he tracks down plays. Currently not as productive as the majority of other blue chip defense linemen, he plays as a rotational player for modern day. His junior season, he ended with 24 tackles, 10 and a half tackles for loss, and four sacks. This is a great defensive piece for Oregon. I can't wait to see what Aiden will do at the next level. Now, the next recruit we're going to be talking about is none other than four-star cornerback in the class of 2025, Blake Woodby. Now, Blake is 5'11", 180 pounds. He's from Baltimore, Maryland. He attends St. Francis Academy. He's the number 86 recruit nationally, the number 12 corner, and the number three recruit coming out of the state of Maryland. And he just recently committed to play football for the Ohio State Buckeyes. Now, Blake is a very aggressive and very physical defensive back, and I can't wait to see what he does for Ohio State. Um, Ohio State has a lot of momentum on the DBs in the last couple of cycles, so it is good for Ohio State to keep this uh, trend going to get high-rated and high-talented recruits uh, at corner and at safety just because of what their defense was like past years. Obviously, their defense is up this year, um, but it's a great pickup for Ohio State, and I can't wait to see what Blake does. Now, the next recruit we're going to be talking about is Andre Evans. He's a four-star cornerback, and he just committed to play football for Georgia. He's a physically strong cornerback prospect with excellent athleticism and quickness. Appears to be a decent length for the role, is regarded as one of Tennessee's best sprinters, and achieved a time of 10.55 seconds in the 100 meters to finish second in the state finals. He also recorded a mark in the 200 meters at 21.85 seconds. One of 2024 cycles speedier corners and displays the long speed needed to move downfield on vertical routes. His ball skills are improved when he spends time at receiver when projecting to the corner, making the full-time switch to corner and still has to work on improving his coverage footwork. There's two more commits that I want to throw in at the very end of this video, and that is Joe Lewis Solomon, four-star corner going to South Carolina, and four-star defense aligned Jordan Crawford, and he is heading to Auburn. Now, thank you guys so much for watching another Recruiting News for Dummies video. I hope you guys like these type of videos, letting you know the commitments that have happened over the last couple of days to weeks. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell to get alerts on every time I post a new video, and I'm out. Peace.